from NASDAQ's Market Site. I'm your host, Christina Ianian. And joining me today is Bjorn von Siemens, founder and CFO of Care Syntax, and Matt Singer, head of innovation capital at BlackRock. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank Tell you. me about this partnership. How did the partnership between Care Syntax and BlackRock begin? It actually started in 2018 with a first introduction where I think a scout of BlackRock was introduced to us in, in Europe. We were still a primarily European-based company. And then about two years later, um, we found a way how to work together. BlackRock invested. And uh, that was a very special moment for the company because it's the biggest investor in the world. Um, obviously, on the one hand, a lot of capital. But on the other hand, very interestingly, through the innovation capital setup, BlackRock is able to provide us access to additional resources. And that's on the one hand talent. So BlackRock knows a lot of very talented people um, and has, has that in their Rolodex. But also, they are shareholder in a lot of companies, probably most companies in the world. And in healthcare, that means we have access to decision makers that usually a startup or a growth stage company doesn't have. So really, a lot of value created through um, this, this partnership over the last three years. That's amazing. Can you elaborate on that? How is Care Syntax positioned as a growth company in Germany? And BlackRock is one of the largest investors in the world. How does that work between you two? Well, with, together with the investment of BlackRock, actually, before that, we moved our headquarters to the Bay Area. So we came from Germany, but now we're a US headquartered company. So we, we became a, a US company as part of the process. On top of that, innovation capital, uh, a growth and venture strategy on behalf of a set of mutual funds at BlackRock is focused on finding the companies of tomorrow today. Uh, and so we're out there every single day meeting founders like uh, Bjorn and Dennis who have great ideas, uh, emerging business plans, and, and need partners to help turn great ideas into novel and generational defining businesses. And so for us to be able to find uh, a set of partners in Bjorn and Dennis who are ambitious in their vision of trying to help improve patient and clinical outcomes regarding surgery was an incredible opportunity. Furthermore, we're global and talent and ideas are global as well. And so being able to support the German economy and the startup community was something that was very important to us and will continue to be uh, as we work with Bjorn and Dennis on a great, great business challenge here of making surgery uh, more efficient, uh, more innovative, and helping uh, clinical and financial outcomes around it uh, get improved over time. That's amazing. How have you seen the surgery market develop over the years? Yeah. Uh, you know, from where we sit, and, and obviously we, we look to operators to have real vision and insight into the market, we see a, a massive market. It's $900 billion of annual spend today, uh, making it an incredibly interesting place for innovation to occur. Uh, and for us, one of the key things that's exciting is the amount of data that is generated uh, across a surgical journey from pre, intra, and post-op. But understanding that data, making meaning of it, uh, can be quite difficult. Uh, and that's where Care Santex comes in. It's helping and enabling and empowering hospital, leader, hospital leaders and uh, surgeons make sense of what is my patient experiencing? How are we uh, understanding appropriate workflow through the operating room? How do we get better at delivering care? That takes a lot of stitching across a number of different data sources to turn that raw data into insight and power and action. And Care Syntax sitting in the middle of that to us was very exciting as an opportunity to go after this market and help drive change. That's amazing. Going off of that point, you're heavily incorporating AI into your platform. Can you talk to me about AI and the competitive landscape within this market? Yes, AI is a key theme across um, most industries, if not all. And the challenge, as Matt said, uh, is data quality of data, not amount. We have a lot of data, we're collecting it everywhere in healthcare and in the operating room, but it is not AI ready. So what we've done is we've created an infrastructure layer that is collecting this data and that for the first time enables applications in real time to run in these different clinical process steps. So an example is a risk score before we even go into surgery, allowing us to understand 
Is it an inpatient day surgery or is it you know, something that needs to happen in a high acuity setting or a real-time kind of lane assist tool for a surgeon, you know, enabling safe to move, move forward indications. And then post-op in the rehab, it's extremely important to engage with the patient and also understand their care settings. And all that is based on data and high fidelity data that allows us to personalize the journey. So we're talking about personalized precision surgery as opposed to one size fits all kind of industrial throughput surgery. There are a lot of developments happening in the space. So what excites you about the future? So our product and our platform enables to, us to move into a lot of different directions. The first use cases are hospital profitability, efficiency, and quality. The second one that was very successful for us was the insure tech angle. So monetizing the data together with risk and liability insurers to enable them to reduce the premiums for surgeons. And there's a big risk associated and big cost associated with risk. And the third element, and that's what we're launching here today as well, is um, we've been able to establish the first CRO, so clinical research organization, for surgery globally. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. And it's, yeah, it's an exciting moment for the industry because it means we will be able to compress the timeline for innovations to get into the hands of surgeons and to be developed and improved dramatically from years or even decades to months. And we're excited to help celebrate on the tower later tonight too. Matt, what excites you most to being in this space? Yeah, you know, look, I think what Care Syntax is doing is, is at the center uh, of a lot of change. Uh, and what's great uh, is that there's a lot of entrepreneurs, and a lot of businesses, and a lot of companies who are going to change the nature of surgery today and into the future. As Bjorn mentioned, this precision care is a big part of that theme that we will see transpire over the next decade or so. The important thing is having someone in the ecosystem that is neutral and can say, how do I orchestrate all this information to help enable change? Uh, and for us, watching Care Syntax build these relationships uh, across a variety of different stakeholders in the operating room and both on the other side, hospital leaders as well, uh, to drive change is really exciting. Uh, and so I think the next couple of years, we're in early innings of this change in the operating theater occurring. We're going to have a front row seat through Care Syntax and seeing how all of us uh, are going to be um, benefiting from better care and better outcomes. Amazing, really pioneering the new space. Yeah, that's our ambition, and we we have the privilege of working with partners like BlackRock, but also Intel, Google, large organizations, Optimum United Health. So really, some of the biggest organizations are looking into the space because it's 900 billion transaction volume in the United States, 2.2 trillion globally, and we're just not even touching six billion lives with surgery. So the growth over the next decades and years is going to be um, continuing to evolve and accelerate. And then there's also new tech coming in. All the brain-computer interface things that are happening, that's also going to be surgery. So a lot of uh, drivers of growth and drivers of demand for surgery, and yet the, the need to act to reduce the total cost of care, which at the moment is not sustainable. So an exciting opportunity, but we need very strong partners to address that in an ecosystem. And a very patient-centric approach, too. Correct. Yeah, and there's so much potential and the sky is the limit. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Christina. It was a pleasure. Thank you.